Hi, my name is Horst Kari from Spark Systems Center Europe. The topic of my talk today is uh, Enterprise Architect as a platform. Enterprise Architect is a tool developed by Spark Systems. Uh, it is a modeling tool, a conceptual modeling tool. You can use it for different kinds of modeling languages like UML, BPMM, SysML, Entity Relationship Models, and many, many other. With some of these models, uh, you can also generate code forward generate code and also reverse engineer code. You can uh, create documents, generate documents from the content within, within Enterprise Architect. For instance, you can generate HTML content, HTML pages and RTF documents. The information within Enterprise Architect can be traced with multiple views which are provided by Enterprise Architect and you can also uh, work in a team uh, on one Enterprise Architect model, so you can also work in a team environment. Enterprise Architect can also be used as a requirement management tool and uh, there are, exist also bridges, integrations to other requirements management tools if you use, for instance, uh, dedicated requirements management tools. And you can also use Enterprise Architect as a project management tool. For instance, you can also use Enterprise Architect as a project management tool for instance, you can allocate resources, your team members, to design artifacts. And at least you can also extend Enterprise Architect exactly to your needs. Let's have a look at this extension mechanism. Enterprise Architect can be extended with a, a tool API, which allows you to access the user interface as well as the models. You can define model searches and MDG technologies. So MDG technology uh, is a way to customize Enterprise Architect to, to contain different kinds of, of configurations under a specific name. Okay, so the tool API can be used with a script. This is comparable to uh, what you can do with uh, Visual Basic for applications in Office products. So you can write macros directly within an Enterprise Architect and execute them. Or you can write add-ins. So an add-in is a kind of plugin. Uh, you can extend the functionality of Enterprise Architect with uh, this add-in mechanism. For instance, you can react on events uh, which Enterprise Architect provides when you work with them. You can define your own user interfaces and extend the functionality. Or you can write external programs to access uh, the repository, the model, uh, from outside. Model searches can be created with a model, uh, with a query builder. Uh, the query builder is a very easy way to, to define searches, to define queries. It's a, just a click, click, and you're ready. Uh, when you would like to define more powerful, more complex queries, you can use uh, SQL and directly access the data within the repository, which is a database. With the last approach with an add-in search, you can also define recursive queries. So the add-in search is also based on this add-in add -in mechanism. So you program uh, the search and as a result you will get a list of, of found elements. The MDG technology may consist of uh, UML profiles. UML profiles are the UMG way to extend uh, UML as a modeling language, so you can define your own extensions within Enterprise Architect. You can also use uh, shape scripts to define your own uh, graphical representation of your model extensions. You can define a toolbox profile. With a toolbox profile, you can uh, extend the existing toolboxes. You can override existing toolboxes. You can write your own toolboxes and put in existing uh, tools as well as your uh, customized languages with UML profiles. With diagram profiles you can define your own diagram types and tell Enterprise Architect how it should behave when you drag and drop a model element on, onto this diagram. With model templates you can define a predefined structure which can be used, which can easily be re reused uh, when you create a model structure within Enterprise Architect. So this helps you to create uh, a model with a few clicks. 
You can also use model patterns. Uh, model patterns is, are well known as the UML design patterns, which are also contained out of the box in Enterprise IDECT. So you can also create your own model patterns uh, to create uh, parts of your models with these patterns. As I already, already mentioned, uh, you can use uh, the code generation templates for forward engineering for the most uh, common languages. So it depends on the edition of Enterprise IDEC that you use. If you have a higher edition, you will get also more uh, programming languages which are supported. Uh, with this code generation template, you can influence the way how Enterprise IDEC will generate this code. So you can put this uh, extensions also in the MDG technology. The reverse engineering is actually a black box until version 10. With version 10, you're able to influence all the reverse engineering, which is based on NBNF grammars. In addition to that, uh, MDG technology is also may contain images, uh, Windows layouts, which may be used to, to define uh, customized layouts of your uh, of the views which are available in Enterprise IDEC. You may contain uh, document templates for HTML generation, for RTF generation, searches, views, and anything else. So this is the way how you uh, may customize uh, Enterprise IDEC to fit into your tool chain and to your process. Good. So when you start working with enterprise architects, maybe you are overwhelmed of all these possibilities. So there is nearly a tool for everything, uh, what you may do, but you can use the out-of-the-box configurations uh, to reduce this complexity. For instance, you can turn off MDG technologies, or you can uh, select predefined workspace layouts, or reduce the menu entries. Or you can use uh, the extension mechanism to get exactly the tool you need. Or you can even get something completely new. The question is now, what are your needs? For instance, Enterprise Architect provides standards. UML, SysML, BPMN, as I already told you. Uh, but do you really need a complete UML? Uh, Enterprise Architect also doesn't force you to use a method or follow a process. But maybe your team member would like to have support uh, to your specific process. The uh, question is now why uh, is it not built in, in Enterprise Architect and came out of the box? The answer is that methods and processes are similar but never equal in different companies. The philosophy is now to provide uh, an extension mechanism to customize the tool exactly to your needs. Good. Next thing is, how can you find out what are your needs? So the best way is to start with a, with a simple uh, expert workshop, open the door, uh, learn everything about Enterprise Architect, about modeling languages, about methods and processes. With this knowledge, start creating an example project. You have to keep in mind two questions. Who reads the model and who is what is the valuable information for the reader? So the output of this is a reference model. The reference model is an example project which which contains everything all the other team members should follow. The next step is use this reference model and think about what can be optimized. So find out the time consuming steps working with, with the tool and with this reference model. Define a subset of modeling languages you use and the rules which, which should be followed. And use the extension mechanism to customize Enterprise Architect to fit exactly to your reference model. So the reference model and these extensions are then be used to prepare a training. And this information is used to train all your other team members and they will be happy to get exactly what they need. Good, so to summarize uh, my talk, what's really important 
to get out the maximum of your modeling effort is to to use a tool, a modeling tool, to know the tool and to find a reference model with these extensions and ensure that the reference model is adhered. So that means uh, you have to, to use this extension. Okay, thank you for watching.